This paper had a duration of 45 minutes. You are permitted to use calculator, ruler, pencil and pen. Question 1. I want you to read. Complete the table by placing tick in the correct box. Where the part of the cell is found. The cell membrane is found in both animal and plant cells. Cell wall is found only in plant cell. Chloroplast is found only in plant cell. That is a part that produces a chlorophyll. And chlorophyll attracts energy for to help plants to make their own food. Human beings cannot photosynthesize, make their food because they lack chloroplast. Question two is about the properties of matter. Is the properties of matter that determine the specific technological application of matters? Sonorous, producing good sound, pleasant to the ear, that is your bell. Strong, bridge, metals are used for constructing bridge because they are strong. Dotile can be drawn into wire. So, drill builds. It's because they are hard, so they can drill other metals, they can cut other metals. Dotiles, electrical wires. Copper is dotile, so that it can be drawn into wire. Write down two reasons why plastic is put around electrical wires. Plastic is an isolator. Plastic does not conduct electricity. So for safety reason, to prevent the electric current flowing in the wire to get in contact with the user. Plastic make the wire safe and prevent electrocution. Plastic is flexible and can be colored to distinguish life and neutral wires. All metals have low melting point. No. So metal are gaseous as room temperature? No. All metal conduct heat? Yes. All metals are brittle? No. So only one is correct here. Let's find a very old model of our solar system. Scientists thought that the Earth was at the center of the solar system. 
the orbit in the whole model shows the other objects moving around the Earth. Scientists today know that the Earth is not at the center of the solar system. What is at the center of our solar system today? The Sun. Write down two other things that are incorrect in the old model. Look at this, what is not correct compared to the current version of our solar system. Eight things are wrong with this old model. So let's go through them quickly. You are expected to write two out of them. Planets move around the sun and not around the earth. Planets do not move around the earth. Only the moon move around the earth and not And the Earth moves, but in this old model, the Earth is static, it's not moving, it's at the center face. The Sun does not move, but in this model, the Sun is moving around the Earth. Not all the planets are in the model. You look at this model, the only planets that you can see here, you see Venus, you see Mercury, there is Mars, there is Jupiter, there is Earth, there is Saturn. So there is no, no Neptune, no Uranus, no, okay, yeah, no Uranus. So you have some few planets that are not here. The order of the planet is not correct. Orbit size is not correct. It's not drawn to scale anyway. Object in model are not to scale. Write down one thing that is correct in this old model. If you compare this to the current model that you have, what is the similarity between this? model and the current model that we use. The moon moves around the Earth. So you have the Earth at the center and the moon is revolving around the Earth. That is correct. Not by in terms of position, but because the moon is moving around the Earth. And then planets move in orbit then you can also see that in these old models, the planets are moving in the orbit. Now, a correct statement about the order of planets. So, if you look at this, you see that in terms of closeness, you have uh, Mercury before you have Venus, which is a slight uh, after Venus, then you have uh, Mars, okay? Then Jupiter in terms of size too, this is telling you that in this planet, Jupiter is the biggest. So there's a similarity with our modern solar system. This question is about, question four is about blood vessels. If you look at diagram of blood vessels, 
this one has a wider is this blood vessel is thicker and that have to be artery to avoid bursting because of the high pressure of blood that he carries vein the wall is less thicker because it carry blood with low pressure and then this one the walls have uh, cells that is to be a capillary so if you look at it from the heart then to heart to heart vein from the heart away from the heart so a is artery c is vein then the blood vessel that connects vein to artery that is your capillary b name the type of blood vessel a and c a and c the blood vessel that carry blood away from the heart dies artery or the biggest artery is aorta then to the heart the biggest vein that carry blood to the heart is vein or vena cava question five show three different element and their state at room temperature solid iodine liquid bromine and chlorine gas which two of these elements flow easily at room temperature flow easily at room temperature the liquid and the gas which is chlorine and bromine what is the chemical symbol for chlorine cl capital c a small letter l chlorine gas fills the jar tick the box next to the correct explanation Forces between the particle push them apart? No. Particles are free to move? Yes. Particles can easily be squashed into small space. Particles increase in size to fill the space. Part D, liquid bromine easily evaporates. Explain what happened to the particle, the molecules, when a liquid evaporates. So explain evaporation in terms of the movement of particles of the element involved. Particle gain enough energy. Some of the particles in the bromine have more kinetic energy. Some particles move faster and they overcome the attraction between them and other. Particles escape when the force between the particles have been broken as particles spread further apart in the gas phase. May I investigate sound? So we have this loudspeaker, which is the source of the sound, the microphone that can pick the sound, detect the sound, then oscilloscope that show the wave of the sound. She make a sound using a loudspeaker. Describe how the sound travel from 
the last speaker to the microphone. Particle vibration, moving air particle, refraction and compression as alternate as air particles vibrate. May draw the wave she sees on the oscilloscope. She make the sound louder. So what are the factors that affect loudness? Talk about the amplitude of this wave. The higher the amplitude, the louder the sound. So to make the sound louder is to increase the amplitude of this wave. We're looking at amplitude, the distance from the equilibrium point to this place. The amplitude here is one, two, three. So if we want to make it higher, so we increase it for the sound to be louder. One, two, three, four, five. So if you draw it up to four, you are also correct. But once the amplitude is above three, you'll be considered correct based on this fat here. She make the sound a higher pitch. So if you look at the pitch, what are the things that affect the pitch of a sound? That is the frequency. If you look at this wave, so you have, what is the frequency of this wave? One, two so you have to complete oscillation so if you want to produce a sound with a higher frequency that is the frequency of the wave you are going to draw must be greater than two complete oscillation what is the fact the higher the frequency the higher the pitch of the sound so if you look at this how many, what is the frequency of this? That is one, two, three, four, five. So the frequency here, F is equal to five hertz. So this is a, a, a sound with a higher pitch. So this frequency here is two and the frequency here is five. Question 7. This question is about the life cycle of a plant. We have fertilization, pollination, stages, seed formation, seed germination. Put the processes in order. Seed germination. What do you think will come next after the seed germinates? Pollination. After pollination, what comes up? Fertilization, after fertilization, you have the production of seed. A and B shows show different types of seed. Suggest the method of dispersal. So we are looking at seed dispersal here. You have to look at the nature, the diagram, which one is light, which one is having spikes, which one of them can easily stick to animal's body, which one can easily be carried by wind. A will be dispersed by animal because it has hook and it can be attached to the 
the fall of their animal. Then B is by wind. It is light weight, it's feathery, and then the parachute shape, so wind can easily blow it. Subscribe and we will help you to easily upgrade your performance to an A+. CPAM is the solution to better grade.